The Hello Show. Hello. Hello. The Hello Show. Bonjour. Guten Tag. <laughs> J'ai deux chats. Ich habe ein Kaninchen. The Hello Show. Hello. Hello and welcome to the Hello Show. Hello. Hello. I'm Dale Maxton. And I'm Francine Quick. On the show today, as our world comes to a blistering end in the next 21 minutes, we ask, why have our gods abandoned us? Quinoa, can it really be trusted? We find out all about the ritualistic cult craze sweeping across Upper St. Crumpsley. And we were supposed to be learning to cook sautéed sweet corn with our resident chef, Jean-Pierre. But as we're secluded to our homes right now, we'll have to wait until after the apocalypse for that particular culinary delight. Jean-Pierre said he had loved ones to get home to. They always do, Francine. They always do. The Hello Show. So tell me, Dale, what's this about quinoa? Well, as you know, Quinoa has snuck into our lives like a stealth mongoose and has finally been recognised as a vital part of a balanced middle-class diet. But has it got a darker side? From underground illegal vegan rings to Peruvian llama smuggling, we've sent our intrepid reporter, Miles Tanner, to find out more. Great job, guys. Back in five. Well, bang goes our cooking feature. Although, to be honest... I wasn't looking forward too much to the sautéed sweet corn. As my mother used to say, some vegetables should never be sautéed. Your mother had Alzheimer's. Did she now? Or was she just ahead of her time? You abandoned her in a nursing home. A nursing home for people ahead of their time? Just to clarify, the world isn't ending, right? Oh, Francine, Francine, Francine. No, the world isn't ending. It'll be a marketing ploy. This world is ending, and your new world begins with KFC. Finger licking good. Something like that, except without the creepy finger licking. Because if the world is ending, I'd rather not be doing this. Uh, Gabriel, tell Francine the world isn't ending. The world is ending. Um, the end is here. Your judgment will come. The fires will rise up and burn those who are found wanting. It's inevitable. <laughs> Not now, Barbara, okay? <laughs> oh, put the proper background on, Cloud Monkey. Okay, coming back in five. Look, I at least need to make some phone calls. Four. I have a family. Three. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> two, silence on set. We're not on set. That means you, Dale. One. <laughs> Wow, what a piece. I, for one, won't be leaving quinoa alone with children in a hurry. Not that you have much time to. What with the end of the world? <laughs> <laughs> now, we're getting tweets left, right and centre about this apocalypse thing. That's right, Dale. John from Stockport tweets at the real hello. What is this end of the world crap? Some kind of April Fool's? Well, from Stockport, the month is July, so who's the fool now? Ah, stale, since we're all going to die imminently. <laughs> <laughs> quite right, Francine, quite right. Ooh, and we've just been sent this lovely picture of a sunset over Beminster from Angela. Doesn't look apocalyptic here, she's written. Just you wait, Angela. Just you wait. Talking of sunsets, who's that I spy on the horizon? Is it everyone's new favourite weatherman, Gabriel Spring? I think it is. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> Tell us, Gabriel, what has the future got in store for us over the next few days? Doom. We more meant in terms of the weather, you cheeky scamp. <laughs> oh, well, today it's going to be blisteringly hot outside. And inside, so don't forget to stock up on your suntan oil, Francine. I know you like to catch a few rays. You know I do. <laughs> well, now the rays will catch you. 
You can try and run from them, or hide from them, but they will catch you. <laughs> they're a bit like Liam Neeson in Taken, but they're much more deadly. In the early hours of tomorrow morning, a cloud of indeterminate horrors will be rising from the south. On Thursday, our computers are simply saying, no. <laughs> and on Friday, temperatures will reach the low 30s. But with that tricksy 100 meters per second westerly wind, well, it's going to feel like your skin's being flayed off. Because your skin will be flayed off. <laughs> also, there's a chance of showers. Wow, great stuff. But tell me, I'm going golfing at the weekend. Am I going to need my umbrella? Oh, well, good news, Dale. You won't need that umbrella because you'll most definitely be dead. Wow, great stuff, Gabriel. Maybe we'll get to hear more from you later. If we have the time. Mm. Viewers, I'm afraid we're going to have to interrupt our usual scheduling because we have an exclusive. That's right, our little program has actually managed to get in contact with someone from the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Introducing live from their apartment in Swindon, the Murder Hornet. Mr. Hornet, you are live on TV. Please do not swear. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Mr. Hornet, thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you for having me. You must be very busy. Uh, well, it has been a bit of a whirlwind these past few months, quite literally. Tell us, how does it feel to be the newest member of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse? Honestly, Dale, it has been an honour. Replacing Famine did leave me with some big boots to fill. <laughs> Who'd have thought little old murder hornets would be someday rise to be in the position I'm in? <laughs> there was some stiff competition for the role? Well, there is some real apocalyptic talent out there, you know, like climate change, and the absence of bees, and of course, quinoa. Quinoa! <laughs> but the chemistry between me and the guys was just instantaneous. And how is it working with the other horsemen? They are an inspiration. Death, pestilence, war, and a real deal, you know. <laughs> Uh, which reminds me, do you have Gabriel Spring with you? Our uh, effervescent weather reporter, of course. Uh, can I speak to him? I'm afraid you just missed him. You can speak to me instead. Um, it's more of a horseman thing. Uh, not that Gabriel is a... <clears throat> Never mind, I I've got to go. Uh, wait, before you go, is the world going to end? Well done. Wow! What an insight! What an exclusive! You heard it here first, folks. The world is ending. Apocalypse confirmed! Well, John from Stockport has tweeted again. At the real hello, seriously, your end of the world bet has run its course. It's not funny anymore. I'm scared. Aren't we all, John? Aren't we all? Halifax Hero tweets at the real hello. I've already started looting. <laughs> I'm watching your show on a stolen flat screen. Well, would you expect any less from Halifax? I sure wouldn't. And don't forget to send in your tweets. You want to get them read out live on air? This is literally your last chance. Viewers, I'm pleased to announce we've got something special for you now. The boys in the office have put together Boy, a nice. Girl. In the office, Dale. Sure. Um, they've put together another feature about trains. Because apparently, it can be the end of the world, and we're still doing features about trains. Roll the tape. We'll be talking about trains till the end of time. Till the end of time, which is now. Seriously, is the world ending? The world's not ending. There's no Armageddon. The four horsemen of the apocalypse are not about to ride. Dogs will sleep with cats. Fire and brimstone. Have you ever, ever felt like this? Have strange things happen? Are you going round the twist? Was that just the around the twist theme tune? Well, it's not my fault that I had my big break in children's television, so... <sighs> I'm 
I'm going to call my parents. What? Oh, thank you, Gabriel. As ever, you've been so useful. The planets are wrong. What? The planets are wrong. I mean, I know that we have bigger things to go with, what with the apocalypse and everything, but the planets are wrong. Ah, oh, can you stop with all this mystical mumbo jumbo? You're freaking Francine out. Besides, what do you know about planets? I know the sky. Dale, Mr. Maxton, mm. um, have you ever worried that you're not good enough? You know, like, have you ever worried that you're gonna let everyone down? It's actually happening. What? That was my parents. It's all over the news, the real news. The world is ending. Coming back in five, four, three, two, one. The Mello Show. Dale. Yeah. Dale, Dale, have you got a connection issue? Uh, what? Dale. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, moving stuff. Can never get enough trains. Tell that to the fat controller. And, and uh, more treats like that keep rolling in for us. Our end of the world special. This time, the treat is for you, Gabriel. Ooh. We've got a special treat for you, Gabriel. We've managed to track down a super fan who wants nothing more than to have a word with you. Introducing friend of the show, the Murder Hornet. The Murder Hornet? Mr. Hornet, welcome back. Uh, 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 Mr. Spring, I'm so sorry to interrupt you at work, um, but the others really need you. It's time for war to rise up again. But what if I can't? I mean, what if I'm not ready? What if I'm not good enough? Uh, honestly, I'm new to all this. I'm just saying what I've been told to say. Ciao. Uh, Mr. Hornet, thank you. Uh, right, well, uh, that was Mr. Hornet from the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, I guess. Um, an old friend, Gabriel? I said an old friend, Gabriel? I can't be useful to you. What? I can't be useful to you like this. Do I need to remind you we're live on TV? Precisely. Just... Give me a few minutes, then I can really make a difference. <laughs> you can't just leave. There are people watching this, people counting on us. I'll be back. Barbara, bring me my longsword. Oh, well, um, well, uh, viewers, <laughs> this episode has taken a few unexpected turns. Who said journalism was ever dull? <laughs> We're all going to die. Come on, Francine. <laughs> Literally nothing we do matters. All of our viewers will be dead anyway. <gasps> fuck. We're live on TV. Fuck, 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 fuckity fuck. Giant scrotum blasting nipple twisting fucks. What does that even mean? <laughs> fuck knows. We'll get complaints. Uh, uh, viewers, uh, clearly Francine is having something of a nervous breakdown. Please disregard everything she's... Like, stop. Thank <laughs> John from Stockport, fuck you. Halifax Hero, fuck you too. Angela from Beminster, fuck you most of all. Francine. Dale and I have slept together. Francine. Many times, in this very garage. It's a casual thing. Casual, yet strict. Francine, stop. The viewers want to know. They want to hear about our dalliances. After all, it's their last chance to hear if there'll be any payoff to seasons of sexual tension. His penis is huge! There have been no dalliances. We have not slept together. My penis is, well, it's... Well, it's average, I guess, but that's really not the point. The viewers don't want to hear about... It is the bassoon of woodwind genitals! Francine, stop! For the last time, there is no apocalypse. We are not about to die. The only thing that's about to come to a catastrophic end is your career!
Ah, oh, thank you, Francine. And uh, thanks to you, we're getting more tweets in. Halifax Hero says, ooh, ooh, no, I can't read that one out. And um, oh, that was no good. Are there any that aren't explicit? This one just says, Dale Maxton, see you next Tuesday. But as there's not going to be another Tuesday, I think he's just calling you. A uh, yeah, yes, thank you, Francine. Now, can we please get back to some content? I believe we might have a reel about a skateboarding budgerigar. Can we roll that? No, that's for tomorrow's episode. You know what I've said is like about playing articles out of order? It'll mess up our minutes. Well, apparently there isn't going to be an episode tomorrow. So perhaps we could make an exception? I've got something. Oh, well, uh, if it isn't our ray of sunshine, Gabriel Spring, please, wow us with your positivity. Yeah, okay. Um, the time for revolution is at hand. Oh, it's not going to go well. It is time for us to rise up against our corporate oppressors and take what is owed to us. Where did you get those from? These weapons were forged from the furnace burning deep in my heart. So, from the props cupboard? The exact lineage of my weapons isn't relevant right now. That says Excalibur on it. Is it from Merlin? No, it's not. Shut up. Join my legion. Let us be the meek who inherit the earth by being not meek. You're so bad at this. Barbara, assemble. Wait, wait. When did you militarise Barbara? She's not supposed to be on camera. What say you, Dale of Maxton? Francine of Quick? Will you join my army? Fight the good fight. Bring some justice in our last few moments. No? No. Oh. Well, viewers at home, hear my call and rise up with your brother. And sister. Francine, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Dale, but if you're not with us, you're against us. Oh. Francine, since when did you have a whip? Don't answer that, Francine. <laughs> She's a nice, normal girl in an extraordinary world. Show us your fangs. <laughs> now, viewers at home, Halifax Hero, Angela from Bearminster, and John from Stockport, now is your time. Now. Yeah. We've cut to the skateboarding budgerigar. Oh, have you? Barbara, fly! Get, get, go get him. Yeah, he, he only lives next door. All right, all right, bye. Bye. Ha <laughs> You can't silence the fire! What are you talking about? I don't know, but it sounded cool. Oh, it does sound cool. Our weatherman is right. Now is our time, our only time to rise up. May the rivers run red with the blood of our overlords. Run red with blood? Very biblical, I like it. What is going on? I don't know, but it's all got very exciting. Well, I've locked my door, so they're not coming in. Pride comes before your fall. It's not the phrase. Oh, God's they broke the door! Oh, Gus, somebody please help me! Put me back on <laughs> and it will stop. They're, 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 they're bludgeoning me with props! They're, they're, they're so frenzy! Is, is that an off-brand lightsaber? I'll have you know it's called a solo. <laughs> oh, all right! All right! Fine! Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt that enthralling buttery gar video to further advertise our new sponsors. Revolution! You have sat in idle neutral waiting for the sounds of the horns of war, waiting for the cries for freedom. Well, I am those cries. I am those horns. Toot. Oh, enough, enough. What revolution even is this? You know, the revolution against the man. What man? The man. We're not soldiers. 
We're not revolutionaries. We're not even oppressed. We are news reporters, so stop it. Stop it. Just stop it. Ooh, eloquent. Mm. Don't listen to him, viewers. He's part of the system. You're part of the system, Gabriel. You have a Volvo. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, please pay no credence to what this imbecile is spouting. There's no need for it. Because once again, the world is not ending. That's right. John from Stockport. Put down your homemade bludgeoning equipment and return to your homes. There's a, there's a lockdown going on. This revolution is cancelled. But... Sorry. We got a little bit carried away. You think? I just wanted something for our viewers to believe in before the end of the world. Oh, God, can you please call off Barbara? She's stuck a sonic screwdriver in an orifice that I'm unwilling to mention live on air. Fine. Thank you. Now, does anyone have any real news? Oh, well, I mean, I might have just started nationwide rioting. Is that newsworthy? Oh, for God's sake. Um, uh, the apocalypse. Oh, for the last time, there is no sodding apocalypse. You said a rude word. Oh, the world is not ending. It can't end. It just can't because, because if it was ending, I, I wouldn't be ending it with you. Oh. oh. Wow. That's... that's not what I meant. It's fine! I meant... Uh, I meant I thought I would have a family. A wife and children. Maybe even grandchildren. My world would end with them crowded around my bedside. They'd be crying, but they'd be laughing too. Remembering all the good times that we'd had together. My world would have ended quietly, peacefully drifting away. But whilst my world would have ended, theirs would have continued. I didn't, uh, I didn't mean I didn't want to be with you. I just, I just wish I'd had a family. I'm sorry. You do know this is all going out live, right? The, the world is ending, isn't it? A little bit. Oh, God. No, it's okay. I mean, our souls will be viciously ripped away from our bodies together. But, but we've still got that skateboarding butchery car thing to look forward to. Okay. Our very existence will be bleached from this air together. We're, we're going to do live shows for the Olympics. It's okay. <laughs> and I wanted to be on Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> we all wanted to be on Strictly Come Dancing. Oh, God. Well, well then. Well then, sod this for a barrel of monkeys. Let's do Gabriel's revolution. What, really? Yay! Yes. yes! Francine, get your whip ready. What's the safety word? Now is not the time. Viewers at home, it's time for a new, possibly once-only feature we're calling Dale Incites Violence Amongst the Masses. Dale Incites Violence Amongst the Masses. That was a prompt jingle. I pride myself on my work. Ladies and gentlemen, the world is ending imminently. We know this as a fact. But are we going to take it lying down? Are we going to go quietly into the night? I think not! Dale, why were you... Why were you carrying a spatula? Don't answer that, Francine. Rise up and fight. Fight for humanity, for freedom, for short videos about skateboarding budgery cars. Listen to your heart. Listen to the beat. Listen to the rhythm. The rhythm of the street. Quoting Arthur. I'm just so excited. <laughs> and, and, because if not now, then when else? I have to say this. I love you. I love you too. Uh, I meant, uh, yeah, Gabriel. 
I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after this message. The Hello Show. Hello. Hello. The Hello Show. Bonjour. Guten Tag. Je <laughs> douche. Ich habe ein Kaninchen. The Hello Show. Hello. Hello. The Hello Show. 